Well, again, talking about cosmology, our overall view of the universe, and uh, taking a look at some terms that uh, cosmologists would use. A, a homogeneous universe that uh, looks the same everywhere. It, it is the same everywhere. And isotropic that looks the same in every direction. Um, so take a look at those. Talk a little bit about curvature and, uh, and center of the universe and cosmological principle. Um, so you might ask yourself a question. If uh, we did not live in the Milky Way, if we lived in a very, very distant galaxy, would we have a noticeably different uh, universe picture from the photographs that we take, from the measurements that we make of uh, how many galaxies are in a cluster, how many uh, galaxy clusters are in a supercluster, what the span is of supercluster or voids in between superclusters? Would, would we have a different view? And then What's this about the universe not having a center? It's, um, that'll take a little understanding to, uh, to uh, decide that. But first, the principle of being homogeneous. Homogenized milk, well stirred, all the, uh, uh, the different uh, density materials well stirred in. And this homogeneous principle for the universe, we have a statement that every region of the universe has the same appearance. So if we do a count of statistics of the elliptical spirals, other types of galaxies, we'll get the same count, we'll get the same percentage, at least, in uh, every section of the universe. Uh, extend that on out to clusters of galaxies and superclusters. This is really saying that there's no unique spot in the universe, that no spot is better than another. That's a homogeneous universe. We have the same... Uh, uh, structure, same type of resources for galaxies uh, everywhere in the universe. Um, so is this pattern homogeneous? If this is the universe, a bunch of arrows, would you say this is homogeneous? Do we have the same structure every place in the universe? And yes, we've got arrows pointed to the right. They're all the same size. I just I made one and then I copied it and pasted it across here. Uh, so we have uh, a homogeneous universe if we live in a universe with a bunch of arrows. Um, what about this universe? Is this homogeneous? No, because now we have red arrows down here. They look different. So with a homogeneous universe, the universe looks the same everywhere. It, it is the same everywhere, I should say. Homogeneous universe, the universe is the same uh, everywhere as uh, we do our counts. This universe has a red corner in it, and um, it is not homogeneous. It's not the same throughout. So isotropic, we look out on the sky through the universe in various directions. If the universe is isotropic, then we see the same structure in every direction. Um, we can't look in a particular direction and see no superclusters, uh, for example. Um, we always see the basic uh, same structure. For both of these, uh, the homogeneous and the isotropic principles, we're dealing with the very, very large view of the universe, very, very large regions. Um, you know, the local, our local group is different than some other local group uh, nearby our local group, but uh, in minor ways it's different. Uh, but overall, when we get to large numbers of galaxies being inspected, uh, homogeneous, isotropic, let's do a little bit more on isotropic. So imagine you're uh, someplace, if you can see my mouse pointer, uh, you're some spot in this universe and you look out in all directions. And I don't have enough space for an infinite universe here to the left and the right, or a very large universe at least. Uh, but if I'm right at this position, I look out in all directions, I will see the same uh, dots everywhere, in every direction. Um, so this universe is isotropic. Uh, we do see the same uh, dots everywhere. Is this universe isotropic? And this is a little subtle. Um, but suppose I'm down here, and I'm looking at this universe. I will see the sides of arrows Suppose I'm over here and I look at this universe. I'll see the points of arrows. This universe is not isotropic. 
I will see I see different things from different uh, viewpoints in the universe. I do not see the same overall appearance as I look in every direction. I'm going to see you know just the width of all these galaxies, these arrow galaxies, um, the span across here. If I'm down here looking, I'll see the length of all these arrow galaxies and uh, think the, the universe is different from these two points of view. So this one's not isotropic. This universe is isotropic. doesn't matter if I'm down below or I'm inside or over here. Again, uh, there are dots everywhere across the margin here, up and down above the screen, so forth. Uh, so this would be isotropic. This one's not isotropic. Then the cosmological principle. This says the universe is homogeneous and isotropic. Uh, we can study just a portion of the universe and learn about the whole universe. The universe is homogeneous and isotropic. Now, astronomers are uh, attempting as best they can to survey the whole universe, and not all the universe is visible to us, but uh, what we can see, this is a, a, a good principle. The universe is homogeneous and isotropic. It has the same types of galaxies every place in the universe. And as we look out, we see the ba same basic structures in every direction. Um, again, we do have local groups of galaxies and so forth on a small scale, but these principles are dealing with vast distances across the universe, you know, very large distances. And the universe does uh, give, to our point of view, a homogeneous and isotropic uh, presence. This is real data. Each dot in here is a galaxy, and we see clustering into superclusters. We see voids, and they're just dimmer out here because they're harder to see. But we have basically the same density of galaxies all the way through here. It is homogeneous and isotropic. Another uh, survey that's been done here, and again, uh, harder to see the galaxies out here, but if you correct for the effect of dimming, then we do have the same structure. It looks the same in every direction. So homogeneous and isotropic. Homogeneous and isotropic. There is a perfect cosmological principle. This one extends this sameness to time, saying that the universe is the same at all times over very large regions, and the universe is not changing. Most astronomers do not accept this uh, principle, this perfect cosmological principle. This would you know, since we have the galaxies moving away from each other, this would uh, require a formation of new matter to fill in the space between where the galaxies have moved out uh, so that over time the density of galaxies remains the same. And we fill in the, the uh, gap where galaxies have receded away from. So you might talk with a friend about that. Uh, do you think the universe is homogeneous and isotropic? Um, at all times, and especially this homogeneous part, never changing? No, it does not. Uh, our data does not confirm this perfect cosmological principle. It argues against it. We only see the quasars very distant. We don't see the quasars near us in our time. Again, when we look at great distances away, we're looking into the past. In the past, there were many, many, many more quasars than there are today. And if we count the uh, distribution of galaxies, there were more spiral galaxies in the past. And the thinking is collisions have occurred and uh, uh, the spirals could not uh, retain their shape as they collided. Uh, we get ellipticals being formed. But there are no close quasars, especially this one is, uh, resonates with me a little bit more. But there are no really, really bright sources, you know, 100,000 times more powerful than a galaxy. There are none close to us, and that's a good thing. Uh, the quasars are far away, these high energy sources. So the perfect cosmological principle has been rejected by this data. The universe does change over time. When we look with our telescopes at very distant objects, these uh, in very distant places in the universe, the uh, universe was different in the past. Um, so those are uh, questions that you might uh, from the very beginning have asked and now hopefully I've answered and you should generate some new questions. One last topic would be the curvature of space, the curvature of space. And we can have positive curvature that's represented here 
as best we can do um, as a ball, and space is not a ball, but uh, we're just kind of modeling with uh, three dimensions here that we are that we can uh, sense and think about. Uh, but the curvature of space here, and I'd like you to pay attention to the triangles. So we have curvature of space here with a positive universe. We have a curvature here that's negative, kind of forms a saddle in, um, in the space-time. And then a flat universe, and again with a triangle in, uh, in each of those. Um, with positive curvature, if you would carefully measure these angles, you would add them up and you get more than 180 degrees. With the negative curvature, if you would carefully measure these angles and um, add them up, you would find that we have a sum of angles less than 180 degrees. In a flat universe, a Euclidean universe, or the geometry you perhaps studied in high school is true, and we have angles adding up to 180 degrees. Again, this is over a vast distance. This is not just some tabletop uh, and uh, where we're laying out these diagrams with the uh, vast distances for the universe. The data indicates flat universe and this will be discussed a little bit more in other videos uh, but uh, right now we have a flat universe. We don't have the technology that can actually measure these triangles uh, but there's some other ways that the curvature of the universe can be uh, uh, deduced. So we have these curvatures and flat curvature here. All of space is expanding and that means there's no center. All the space is expanding. It's not expanding outward from a center. All the space is expanding in the x direction, y direction, z direction, in three dimensions. So there, we don't require a center for that expansion to proceed from. All, all the universe, all space is, uh, is expanding. Um, so there's some other things about uh, the curvature here, parallel lines is a nice one that uh, you can take a look at. If we would shoot two parallel lines on this flat universe, they would remain parallel and would not intersect. If we shoot two lines on this uh, curved universe, it turns out that they won't remain parallel. And same thing on this uh, uh, negative uh, curvature universe. The lines will not remain parallel as they're shot out. Only from the uh, flat universe will they remain parallel. Um, so those are some uh, uh, introductions again, some terminology. Homogeneous, the universe has the same structure every place. Uh, the isotropic, as we look out in any direction, we see the same appearance to the universe. Uh, we have a cosmological principle. The universe is homogeneous and isotropic. We reject the perfect cosmological principle that uh, the universe doesn't change over time. As there's evidence that in the past the universe was different than it is now. Then we have these possible curvatures to the universe. The one that uh, seems to be the case is a flat universe. And there'll be more talking about that uh, in another video. So. Again, you should generate a list of questions, ask your instructor, do some more reading on your own. That would be great.